Hi Capricorn, welcome to another love reading of yours. This is from Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading guys. This may or may not resonate with every Capricorn watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies vice versa. And uh, time is fluid as you know. You could have dealt with this energy, are dealing with or will be dealing with. Alright? If you do need a person reading, all that information is going to be down in the room. Hmm. Alright, Capricorn. So what I can see here is that in the current situation, there's been an ending. Okay, this is a huge ending. A huge phase or cycle in your connection has ended. Okay, or there's been an end, an ending in this connection, a breakup. Alright, but something's going through a huge transformation. Okay, this is a huge change or a huge transformation that your relationship is going into, or something's just completely stopped. But I don't think this has come to a complete end. In fact, I feel that the your relationship is going through a transformation, a change that has been needed for a very long time, all right? On your, on Capricorn, on your mind with the seven of wands here, uh, you're, I think you're very, very defensive right now, okay? You're on guard. I think you're trying to protect yourself or defend yourself from this person, okay? Or this could also be a very determined energy. We'll see when I clarify. On this person's mind with the lovers, if this person thinks you, they have a very strong soulmate connection to you, this is your twin flame, but at the same time, they have a lot of love for you and they want you, alright? They can feel this connection. The mutual energy between you guys is love. You both have a lot of love for each other, alright? We have the Queen of Cups here. This is very emotional, unconditional love for each other, alright? I'm feeling that with the King of Wands here, in your emotions, Capricorn, either you want to take action or you want this person to take action towards you. On this person's emotions, they want a brand new beginning with you, okay? They want a clean slate with you. They want to start things from scratch. So yeah, after this ending, they want to start things from scratch, okay? And anyways, they feel this soulmate connection. I'm getting that there was one person here who was probably not being able to accept this connection. And they probably were running away from these feelings, okay? And now this person has full acceptance of this situation, alright? And they want a brand new beginning. However, in their attitude with the Seven of Cups here, I feel that this person wants this beginning with you, but they're very confused about what is the right approach towards you because of this ending. Again, the mutual energy, right? They have a lot of love for you, right? And they know that you also love them very, very much. On the other hand, with the Ten of Swords, as your attitude or your behavior with the Ten of Swords here, I feel that you feel that there has been an ending, okay? And you either feel very backstabbed and betrayed by this person with the Ten of Swords here, and uh, you want to heal okay it's like this is an ending to something that was very very painful all right so you probably think that things have ended between you and them we'll see i need to clarify in order for me to say more what is the death why is the death here why is the death here Life has a death. yeah see someone gave up on the connection this is someone who gave up on the connection with the strength in reverse. Yes, there was one person here who was holding on to this connection for a very long time, okay? And this person was trying to control the outcome. This person was putting in their all, all right? And then there's one person who just completely let go. This person let go. And that's when there was an ending. Maybe there was someone who was resisting an ending. They already knew that this connection was dead or there was no growth in this connection. And finally, someone let go of the connection. This is someone who's just tired of dealing with the situation over and over again, okay? There could be a negative pattern that was repeating itself, okay? It could be a negative thought pattern or a cycle that was repeating itself over and over again. And you know, right, that that is something, it's an inevitable ending, right? Something is inevitable, all right? You can ignore it as much as you want, but it is going to keep coming. It's like the universe is going to keep showing you signs or show you your lessons till you don't learn it. And there was one person who just let off, let go of control issues. Like, I'm, I'm sick and tired, I'm fed up, I cannot deal with this anymore. Six of Cups in reverse. Someone's holding a grudge. Something's left a bad taste in your mouth or there, okay? But yeah, take the sides, okay? Flip them, I'm gonna read this as Capricorn and this is the person you're dealing with. However, you can reverse the sides, okay? What is the Seven of Wands? Why is this on Capricorn's mind? Ten of Cups. Alright, Capricorn. So you are hell-bent on having the Ten of Cups with this person, okay? You're very, very determined and you're going to fight till the end. How sexy is that? You're going to fight till the end to get this Ten of Cups. You see this person as your Ten of Cups. You see them as your happily ever after. I feel that, you know what? There was this person here who wanted everything with you, alright? 
but probably because you did not take action they were waiting for you to take action they were waiting for you to acknowledge this relationship acknowledge your feelings give them commitment or whatever right but you probably ignored this capricorn and now that they've let you go you know this is now the, this is the energy that you're coming towards with them why are they the lovers it could also mean with the lovers here it could also mean that this person needs to make a choice all right could be this person needs to make a choice between two people between two lovers or between two soulmates what is the lovers clap for the lovers clap for the lovers please Yeah, see, all this person wants is happiness. All they want is happiness. So there's someone on this side here who's been illuminated to the fact of who's had an aha moment. They want growth and expansion with you. But I'm getting with the sun and the lovers here. Someone realizes that they are your soulmate, or they realize that you are their twin flame or soulmate. Okay, someone is finally illuminating to the fact that this is a solid connection. Maybe this person. this person on this side was someone who was trying to avoid this connection for a very long time okay like i said right in the uh, uh, just some time back this person now has a realization and something has given them an enlightenment and now they want to acknowledge this connection they realize the strong bond between you both what is the king of wands why is this in capricorn's emotions why is the king of wands in your emotions eight of cups Yeah, see, you're walking. You walked away from this person in your emotions because you wanted this person to take action. This person was not taking action towards you, and could be on your mind, Capricorn, with the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Cups. See, I think you are hell bent on wanting what you want. You're not wanting to settle for anything less. I think that's the kind of getting. You're not wanting to fold into your beliefs, okay? Maybe this person wanted a, a non-committal relationship, or they just want to have fun without commitment, or this person was just wanting to be with you. They loved you. There was a lot of emotion, happiness, but probably they asked you to, you know, move around in another another way, okay? Break away from tradition and do something non-committal, uh, you know. But you are hell bent on wanting the ten of cups. Yeah. So yeah, in your emotions, Capricorn, you're wanting to walk away because this person didn't take action when you wanted them to, or you're now wanting to take action towards this person now that this person has walked away. All right. What is the Ace of Wands? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Clap for the Ace of Wands for this person. <laughs> Page of Swords in Reverse. This person wants a brand new beginning with you, but they're not going to talk. They're going to want you to make the first move. This person could be keeping tabs on you. They want this beginning with you, right? But they're not going to say anything. They're going to watch you from a distance and going to wait for you to make the first move. Why is the Queen of Cups here? <coughs> There is a lot of love here between you guys, and you both, I feel, are trying to. You both want reconciliation, or you're both trying to heal from this connection, heal from this breakup, separation, divorce, whatever. I don't see this other divorce, but I think it's probably like you both want to um, get out of this pain. Okay, and you both are wanting to trust your intuition at the same time, and uh, try to get some psychic guidance. But again, there's a lot of unconditional love between you guys. Look how this Queen of Cups is watching the King of Wands, right? I'm feeling this this energy more of the person on this side. Okay, this is someone who always wanted this person to take action, and because they didn't, this person is walking away. I think the Eight of Cups is this person who walked away, and now you want to go ahead and take action, action Capricorn. What is the Ten of Swords? What is the Ten of Swords? What is the ten of swords? Clap for the ten of swords. Clap for the ten of swords. One card, please. Yeah, see, you want an end to a bull, end to the bullshit. You probably want to start communication, and I think you're feeling very, very guilty about trying to escape. trying to withdraw yourself from this connection or trying to run away from this connection yeah see that's exactly what i'm picking up now you're very determined to get this happiness you're very determined to have this family kids with this person this was this is something that this person always wanted maybe you wanted the same thing but you were not taking action before and that's why that led to this person walking away 
now you're wanting you're feeling very guilty and you're wanting to make an honest approach towards the situation you want to change your approach towards the situation you could have been holding on to your feelings for a very long time probably you were being deceptive not cheating but deceptive in a way that you would you know shut down with your feelings okay maybe you're someone who doesn't want to express their feelings etc but now you want an end to this bullshit okay this is too much pain for you that this person walked away okay you could be even feeling backstabbed and betrayed by this person but now you want another approach towards this okay you want to change your approach why is the seven of cups here why is the seven of cups here in this person's attitude and behavior three of wands in reverse this person is probably even waiting like i said right this person's waiting but in their attitude they're going to it's almost like they feel either you're turning your back towards them or they're turning turning their back towards you because with the seven of cups here there's too much confusion in this situation i don't think you've still communicated the fact that you want the ten of cups with them okay because with the seven of wands here you're being very defensive this person's wants this person wants it with you okay but they're not going to talk they're not going to make the first move capricorn if you're wanting for them to make the first move they're not there is a lot of love this person has they know this is their soulmate they want everything with you they see their happiness with you okay but they're not going to make the first move and if you don't make a move quick right with the three of wands in reverse here this person is giving up because they're fed up they could have manifested this ten of cups with you for a very long time they could have waited for you for a very long time okay but something left led to a disappointment and this person had to walk away and now they're just left in confusion they just don't know which is the right path to do okay and for them probably it's best to just walk away and that's what they're doing with eight of cups However, we have the justice here as the likely outcome. Why is the justice here? Why is the justice here as the likely outcome? Nine of Pentacles reverse. So yes, I feel that Capricorn, there is a relationship coming up for you. Okay, there is someone who's ready to give you commitment, or you're ready to give this person commitment because there's someone who's who's probably even single, and now they're ready to be in a relationship. Someone's going to make a very logical decision, keeping their emotions on the side. Okay. Balance is going to be restored in your connection, and I do see a relationship coming up for you, Capricorn. But if you're expecting this person, I think it's better that you take action, okay? Since you're so hell bent on wanting this with this person, okay? Your approach is changing. I like that. But yeah, it's going to take some more effort from you, okay, in order to change this Six of Cups and Reverse, because this person is holding a grudge against you, or there's just been a lot of fights, or something's just led to bad memories between you guys. This person's tired of dealing with the situation. They've given up. Yeah, but anyways, the likely outcome, right? I see things being balanced, all right. The justice can also be a marriage card, a legal card, okay. But I feel that this is someone here who's very codependent and wanting to rush in towards you with a commitment or with something stable, okay. This person definitely wants to be, um, does not want to be single anymore. And there's someone coming towards you, Capricorn, or you're going towards this person, offering this person justice, giving them what they deserve, okay. This is going to be a very balanced situation. All right, Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Love you forever. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Next time. Bye-bye.